What's good guys, Snowflake here, welcome to another episode of Oblivion. Uh, we're really getting into it with the Dark Brotherhood now, we've officially completed our first assignment from Mr. Valtieri. Um, we snuck aboard a pirate ship called the Maria Elena in the Imperial City waterfront. Uh, and we managed to kill the captain and all of his henchmen. Uh, Gaston Toussaint was his name. And he suddenly learnt the feeling of one sword, at the very least. Um, yeah, it was a pretty simple one in the end, but I guess... The Dark Brotherhood, I think Dark Brotherhood is sort of like a beginner guild for people just getting to grips with the game, and I think maybe some of these quests are a little bit easier at the start. Uh, as you get further into it, of course, things become more complicated and tricky. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that progresses. Uh, but yeah, we've got our next quest from Vicente already. Uh, I must go to the city of Bruma, find Bainin's house and gate entrance. Once inside, I should stage a tragic accident. Sounds like fun. Uh, we read a whole bunch of books in the last episode as well. Um, so that was cool. Got some skill ups. Gained a new quest as well. Yeah, we're just heading back to the sanctuary right now. Uh, and we plan to um, ask our brothers about the quest. See brothers and sisters about the quest. I made the same mistake at the end of the last episode. I'm very sorry. Uh, brothers and sisters, what they think about the quest. Vicente didn't have much to add in the last episode. Mirage Dar still hates us and refuses to help us at all. Uh, so it is what it is. Um, oh look, there's Vicente. Oh look, Gogrun's just come out of the... Uh... I've been meaning to speak with you. But of course. What troubles you? Is it true what I've heard about your most recent contract? You were forced to eliminate everyone? Even the non-essentials? All right, so I may have gotten a bit careless. But the contract was fulfilled, wasn't it? In the end, that's all that matters. I'm just glad to know you came out of it all unscathed. Not that I doubted your abilities, but you know me. I worry. Okay, this is definitely generic. Right. Well, my contracts await. Maybe we can talk some more later. Sithis be with you, brother. Excuse me, brother. Can you <laughs> spare a moment? Yes, brother. I heard about your most recent contract. I just wanted to congratulate you on a job well done. You had quite the time of it, or so I hear. Word certainly gets around fast, doesn't it? Don't tell me. Antoinetta has been running her mouth off again. Anyway, nothing I couldn't handle. <laughs> yeah, remember, dear brother. I can't always be there to get you out of trouble. Ah, uh, all right then. I guess I should get back to my duties. I should be around later. We'll talk. Sithis be with you, brother. You are like nice. a dark gift from the Night Mother herself. Interesting dialogue. I know what you're thinking. Um, so that's definitely an indication that it's generic, because he said the same line about, um, I don't doubt your abilities, but you know me, I worry. I did feel weird that Gogron was saying, Vicente, you had to kill everyone, even the non-essentials, when Gogron would be exactly the kind of pe person to kill all of the non-essentials, not even because he had to, but simply because he felt like it. Um, yeah. Hey, I don't like... Okay, there's no new rumours, is there? It's always the same one. What do you think about my contract? The manservant's name is Grom, you say? Sounds like a Nord. Probably a big one. If he catches you, get ready for a serious fight. Hmm, that's, that's kind of useful info. Happy hunting, my brother. Thanks. Um, anyone else about? Tainava, what you say? It's good to see you again. I hope your contracts have been giving you much pleasure. Can't complain so far, buddy. There are whispers in the... Yep, you told us this before. If the target is old and weak, as you say, 
then his manservant is sure to be quite the opposite. Best stay out of his way. Okay, a bit similar to what Gogren said. Not as May informative, you walk though. Always in the shadow of cities, dear brother. Of course. Dark Guardian, what say you? Yeah, I hear you. Ochiva. I am honored by your presence. How can Ochiva be of assistance? We'll see. Greetings, brother. I do hope you are well. Um. I. I, I yep. Contract? If things go badly, forgo the plan and simply kill the mark any way you can. You'll lose the bonus, but at least the contract will be fulfilled. Oh, I've unlocked the Shadow Scale dialogue, I guess, from talking to Tainala. That's interesting. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm not sure about that forego the bonus talk. We want to be skilled assassins. We must go for the bonus. But I get her point. Um, what do you know about Shadow Scales? I see you have been speaking with Tanava. What he says is true. All our lives we have lived together in the shadows. We are eggmates, twins. We were taken at birth and given to the Dark Brotherhood. We returned to Black Marsh as Shadow Scales, trained in the arts of stealth and murder. Together, we served our nation as spies and assassins, as all Shadow Scales do. When we came of age, we joined the family as one, and here we are. I think I'm going to call any twins I see from now on eggmates. I'm sure they'll appreciate that. Go now, dear family member, and may the Night Mother wrap you in her cold, loving embrace. Oh, Talangel's still here. Seeing you again is like a blessing from the Night Mother herself. Great. Hello, brother. It's good to see you again. Okay. Oh... Okay. Yes, you'll find that some jobs require you to terminate a mark in a specific way. It's well worth the trouble considering how good the bonuses are. Okay. Do bonus. Thanks for the advice. May your arrows always strike true. Okay. Uh, I think that's almost everyone. Um, Antoinette, we haven't got her perspective yet. I am honored by your. Um, living quarters, let's guess. And uh, there she is. Yes, dearest brother. Is there something I can help you with? Don't tell. Yeah, contract. How do you plan on entering this man's house? Through the front door? Be smart and look for a more inconspicuous way in, like a cellar entrance. Hmm. Oh, that is interesting. A cellar entrance. Good luck, brother. I hope you don't get killed. <laughs> I mean, well, you know. Okay, okay. Decent advice, decent advice. That is everyone now, isn't it? Hail, my brother. Real Gogren. Uh, let's just check here just in case. But I don't think there'll be anyone left. I'll oh, just Mirage Darn. We already checked, he still doesn't want to help us. your latest exploits not only did you eliminate the target but his six imperial legion escorts as well damn the center has been busy Most impressive heard about that did you <laughs> yeah all right so things got a bit out of control nothing i couldn't handle though as you can plainly see you are truly an asset to this sanctuary here's hoping all of our contracts work out that well well i should return to my duties Till next time, then. Walk with darkness, child of the Night Mother. I've been meaning to speak with you. Of course. What is it? I've been meaning to ask you about your last contract. I heard there were some... complications. Isophis, what a night that was. Reminded me of the time you and I raided... Yeah, the we had this one before. Ah, now that takes me back. Hey, sometimes I wonder how you survive at all without me being there to watch your back. Right then. We should probably get back to our duties, huh? Sithis, be with you, sister. Alright. Off to Bruma then.
Okay. How about mixing up some potions? You look like quite the alchemist. What does an alchemist look like, for oh my god? Tell me. One more card. Blessings of the new upon you. Yeah. What? What's going on with you? I saw some mud crabs by the water recently. I steered clear of them. I avoid those things whenever I can. Horrible creatures. Take care. How are you? Please be. Blessings of Julianus. Oh, it's my pleasure. Please continue. All right. So where is our friend Balin's house? Uh, this is it. Definitely looks like one of the fancier houses in the neighborhood. Uh, apparently we're allowed to just lockpick his door, go in. But uh, our friend Antoinette suggested there might be a more inconspicuous way in. Like, say, a basement. I think I know why it's not illegal to go in. Because um, this quest has to be done at a specific time. And if it's like a restricted area, you're not allowed to wait um, inside. So by making the area non-restricted, you can wait inside the house until the time where you need to drop the, drop the head on his head. The head on his head. Yeah, that's actually accurate. None of this is stealing, though. That's something I'm a bit confused about. I mean, I'm, I'm going to take it. I have entered Balin's house. If I can access the second floor crawl space and loosen the fastenings on the mounted head between 8pm and 11pm, it would fall on Balin as he rests in his chair. If Balin dies any other way or if Grom is killed... I will lose my bonus. So with his Dark Brotherhood quest, I like to imagine who would have called the hit on, on the guy. And in this case, I'm really not sure. But the fact that this person specified that Grom is to be kept alive makes me think it's something to do more with Grom than it is to do with Banelin. Maybe someone who wants Grom to not be spending so much time with Banelin? Perhaps? Someone who wants to hire Grom himself? Although it's a pretty extreme way to go about it. We go through these? Yeah. Bit of gold. Don't say no to that. Nice little stash of wine. Silver. Not a bad house to rob if you're in the Thieves Guild. Basket, how dare you take up space in our inventory? Be gone. Um, that's the door back outside. Blacksmith's apron, more ingredients, another chest, hourglass, and shovel. Meh. I, I swear there was something in that. Or do I just get fooled by the green colour? And oh, no, that's the basket I've just dropped, isn't it? Silly me.
Okay, there we go. Nice bit of alchemy. Alright. Oh, <laughs> and we're not done yet. We have completely taken all of his reserves of food and we can now starve him to death. Let's ignore the fact that he can probably very easily get some more. Okay, what's the time? Oh, okay, we can we can wait down here, but we can't wait once we go in the house. So it's 10.44 a.m. So, quite a long time until 8 p.m. But I do want to go in there and sort of look around. So I'd, I'd rather do that before we have to actually do the thing and kill him. Uh, we do have to be careful to avoid Grom, of course. The manservant. Hey, security buff. Nice. Okay. So this isn't stealing either. And I'm just going to grab it. Beggar Prince. Have I read Beggar Prince? I believe so, but never hurts to check. Yes. I hear footsteps. Hmm. What if I just put my grey cowl on for a quick second? Just to see where everyone is. How goes it? Good to see you. I definitely didn't need to do that. So we're going to talk straight away. Oh, that's it. How goes it? Well met. What's going on with you? I ran it. into some goblins in the woods not long ago. Nasty little beasts. Horrid beasts. I hate the things. Bye. Farewell. I'm so scared. I don't want to be spotted. Alright, let's skillfully go from under here. I mean, we're not stealing. We can get rid of the junk later. Quick, quick, quick. Uh oh. Grab, 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 grab. Uh oh. Oh, they're above us. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, I think I'm just going to keep this on for the duration of this quest. It just makes more sense. I don't know if I've ever seen rice, like, out before, not, not being in a container. we grab that was useless like some ceramic something yeah let's put that away there we go 
didn't see this stuff before, or maybe I just chose to go directly through. It'll take a uh, biography of Baron's Eye. Have we read all of those as well? I feel like we probably have. One, two, and three, yeah. Uh, Mysterious Akavir feels like one probably read. Yep. Good afternoon. What's going on with you? They say that slavery has been abolished in Morrowind. House Dress and Lalu have renounced the slave trade and freed the beast folk from servitude. Morrowind has always been a troubling place. It seems it is more so now. See you. You too. Cool. Grab that book. So we should. This should be dark enough that we don't get seen. Uh, I do want to look at this upstairs area, but I don't think there's any chance of being able to do that while Grom and Bailey are here. So this is. So this is the thing we need to drop on him, right? I believe. Let's save the game just in case. I do want, kind of want to go up here. How are you? Fantastic. Thanks for asking. Excellent. Good day. Good day. You cannot see me here. What's the time, by the way? 1 p.m. Don't suppose you're hungry by any chance? Why is there a silver fork there? Can't believe I missed that. Okay. This is a good step. This is a nice little storage room we can hide away in. Ooh, Iron Battle Axe. Yeah, let's take away all of their, their weapons and armor. Just in case. <laughs> steel Warhammer, Steel Boots. Not bad. Afternoon. What's going on with you? I ran into some goblins in the woods not long ago. Nasty. Not bad. Horrible things. I hear that the high elves train them. I can't imagine it. So long. Be seeing you. Uh, report disaster at Ionith. Is that one we've read? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna clean this room out. Oh, this is the crawl space door. So this is where we would loosen the fastening and drop it on his head. And the good news is we can actually see when he's sitting down thanks to this detect life and charmer that we have. Um I do kinda of, I do wanna go in that room, but there is very little chance of that happening while Bainlin and Grom are still there. I don't know when they move. Fantastic. Thanks for asking. If you're all alone in the woods and you see a troll coming, you run. Problem solved. Thanks Great bodyguard you. advice. Interesting. What's the news from the other parts of Tamriel? Rumor has it the Nerevarine has left Morrowin on an expedition to Akavir and has not been heard from since. Morrowind has always been a troubling place. It seems it is more so now. So long. Goodbye. Oh yeah, let's do some alchemy. I forgot we got loads of food items.
Oh. Some movement. And we're now vacating the upstairs area. Grom, you, you wanna you wanna join your buddy? Is he running? <laughs> what the hell? What? <laughs> huh? <laughs> so Bainan's just gone downstairs, then he sprinted upstairs, and Grom has just swung a warhammer into him, and he's dead. <laughs> I feel full of the contract. But not in the manner requested. As a result, I have forfeited my bonus. I must now return to the sanctuary and speak with Vicente Valtieri to receive my reward. Gron, you kidding me, bro? Why did that happen? What triggered Bainlin to just sprint up to Grom and? I thought they'd seen me for a second, but they definitely did not. Kind of want to reload that, because that, that wasn't my fault. Alright. How do you do? What's going on with you? Did we clean out everything I've heard over that here already? Warriors have traveled from Skyrim with orc mercenaries to assault the Redoran of Morrowind. Yeah, we can clear this all out. Um, let's do all this again. The Nords have always been protective of their territory. It's no wonder they get involved in these disputes. Bye. Farewell. That was a little risky, but it's fine. Well, don't remember if I broke a lockpick last time, but there you go. Anything, Bailin? All right, let's make a new save just in case. Look, there's another Nern route over there. The Dark Brotherhood sends you on a quest to gather Nern route. Let's see what happens. The time is 1.19 p.m. So let's see when Bainlin goes crazy and, and murders Grom. Or Grom murders Bainlin, I suppose. What's up? You don't need to use this room by any chance, do you? Have a good day now. I'm still trying to work out why that interaction happened. <laughs> Hi there. 
What's going on with you? We're friends now. I saw a mud crab a couple of days ago. Ugly little animal. I avoid those things whenever I can. Horrible creatures. Good day. Take care. Okay, Bane's going downstairs just like he did before. Is he going to sprint back up and attack Grom again? Yes, he is. Why? <laughs> Why does this happen? Well, I didn't do anything. Yeah. And Grom wasn't very tough, was he? Okay. Okay. Alright, let's go back and let's try something else then. Let's go to the basement. Um, and wait... Six hours? Okay, they haven't killed each other this time. Oh, he's coming downstairs, isn't he? You cannot see me. Time to sit in your chair, Mr. Bainlin. Or at least have some dinner. I don't know. Finally, I get access to this room. I can grab all the silver bowls, silver urns that I want. Silver dagger too. Nice book, silver goblets. Hard lock, oh, very hard jewelry box. It's better have some nice loot in it. Ebony ring and strong potion of light. I suppose it could be worse. Mega prince again. I right, a bruma and some parchment. A nern root. Some fancy clothes. Guessing this is Bainlin's room. Hard lock chest. Ooh, okay, Topaz Ring, Bear Pelt, Crystal Ball, Gold, and Silver Ant. Very nice. I think that's pretty much everything we wanted. And I can see Bane Lin is in position. It's not quite 8pm. But uh, this, this little pink light is about to disappear very quickly. Uh, let's wait until 8 p.m. just in case, you know, it doesn't quite meet the parameters. Uh, I'm afraid we can't give you a bonus because you killed Bailey at 7.59, <laughs> which said between 8 and 11. These appear to be the fastenings of a mounted Minotaur head. As expected, they have been loosened over time. You could easily remove the fastenings, causing the mounted head to crash to the floor below. Do you wish to remove the fastenings? Yes, remove the fastenings. Four marks for the sound effects. The mounted head has fallen on Balin, killing him as expected. I must return to the sanctuary and speak with Vicente Valtieri to receive my reward. Okay, can't interact with them anymore.
Yeah. Sorry, Grum. Can my commiserations, old pal? I do want to loot Banelin's corpse, but Grom is... I don't think Grom's going to move from there anytime soon. So uh, let's uh, sneakily find our way out of here, shall we? Okay. What kind of reward will we be getting this time? And we do get our bonus because Grom did not choose to hack Bane into pieces this time. I just realized I I just transport I just fast travel to Shadenhull while wearing the Grey Fox's cow. And I'm very lucky that nobody saw me there. Okay. Of course. What is it? I've been meaning to ask you about your last contract. I heard there were some complications. All right, so I may have gotten a bit careless, but the contract was fulfilled, wasn't it? In the end, that's all that matters. Sometimes I wonder how you survive at all without me being there to watch your back. <laughs> Oh, twins. Right. Well, my contracts await. You are like a dog Maybe gift we can from the night nice mother herself. Later. Please, tell me Walk how I can... Walk with darkness, help. child of the night mother. It fills my heart with warmth to see Excuse you again, me, sister. brother. Excuse me, Can you spare <laughs> a moment? But of course, what troubles you? Everyone's talking about your latest exploits. Not Brother, only did you eliminate the target, but word? his six Imperial Legion escorts Very busy day today. What troubles you? So you Everyone's heard. talking about yes, your latest yes, exploits. Quite the Not only did you the eliminate the target, but seven. his six Imperial Come, Legion escorts as well. Most impressive. Tendons were made of steel. All right, so Damn, I hadn't heard, heard that one before. Careless, <laughs> remember, but the contract the was fulfilled, I can't always be there to get you out end, of trouble. That's all that matters. Ah, well, I'd love to continue <laughs> chatting, but <laughs> I have remember, to prepare for my next contract. I can't you know, always be there to get you out of trouble. Sithis, be with you, sister. I'd love like to continue a dark gift chatting, from the night mother herself. but I have to prepare for Please. my next contract. Exactly the same know, conversation, you know, that Mage's Guild matter. You, you sure you guys don't have the same contract? Walk always in the shadow of Sithis. All right, Vizante. I am honored. So, the accident has been staged and Banelin lies dead. Well done. You have more than earned your reward and bonus. I present to you this dagger. It's an enchanted blade known as Sufferthorn. Its prick is deadly, I assure you. Yes, you are quite an asset to this sanctuary. In fact, I believe you are ready for advancement. I hereby appoint you Slayer. Well done. Hey. Now like go, that title. child of Sithis. Go and the rest. Slayer. You'll need it. Um, how about you just give me a quest now? Back for more? It just so happens I have another contract available, one that requires an expert in infiltration. I'm your guy, probably. Of course, I will gladly accept. As always, you fail to disappoint me. Your target is a dark elf named Valen hmm. Dreth. He thinks he's safe in prison. That name is familiar. He is tragically mistaken. A prisoner recently escaped from the prison using a set of secret tunnels connected <laughs> to the Imperial City's sewer system. It's a perfect way inside. Interesting. Just outside the Imperial prison is a grating that leads to the sewers. It has recently been tightly locked, but I will provide a key. It should be easy enough to locate Dreth in his small cell. Besides, I think you know the way, hmm? <laughs> oh, Vicente. Valendreth has been imprisoned for many years. His tongue is sharp, but his body is limp and frail. He will prove an easy 
pleasurable kill. You will receive a bonus if you fulfill the contract without killing any of the prison guards. Now go, and may the Night Mother go with you. All right, well, that is an interesting quest, isn't it? Um, we've got the sewers key as well. That's, that's going to come in handy as well in the future. Um, so let's have a look at the reward we got from the last quest as well, which I forgot to do. So Suffer Fawn, it's a dagger with drain strength, 20 points, and damage health, 35 points on strike. Pretty good for a dagger, considering... Like you get loads of rapid attacks. That's pretty pretty useful. And drain strength twenty points um, can make your opponents nearly useless when attacking you. Uh, but yeah, Vicente definitely gave us an interesting quest there. Uh, wait, hold Why on. does Valendreth still live? Breaking into the Imperial prison is difficult, I know, but the contract must be fulfilled. I wanted to ask you first. Oh. Well, um. Ah, Vicente, what was I going to say? Um. Yeah, so it was quite funny how he talked about a prisoner recently escaping uh, the prison through the sewers. And then you. It makes it, he makes it seem like you don't. He doesn't know it's you. But then he says, besides, I think you know the way. So he implies that he actually knows that you escaped from the prison. Um that day, which not many people know. And certainly none that are still alive. Does anyone alive know how I escaped from the Imperial City prison? I don't think so. I think every blade that knows about it is dead. Martin's dead. Yeah. Unless someone told someone else. I guess that's the only way it could have got to Vicente, really. One would question how he knew that. The count um, tell me about the contract before you run away. You must infiltrate the Imperial prison and kill Valen Dreth, a dark elf. He should be easy enough to eliminate once you actually get inside. Fair dues. Spill some blood for me, dear brother. But yeah. And Valen Dreth, which I completely forgot to mention, um, anyone who's started Oblivion remembers that dark elf that's in a cell across from you, um, who gives you a race themed insult. By your presence. Greetings. Okay, let me just stop you talking. Um, everyone remembers that dark elf that sits, that's like in the prison cell opposite you, right at the start of the game, gives you a race themed insult, and is very mean to you for no reason. Um, and this is the first time he's been mentioned since then, and unsurprisingly, for someone of his unpleasant nature, um, someone has demanded him to be killed. Like I said before, I like to imagine um, who ordered the death of the person in every Dark Brotherhood quest. But with Valen Draft, it's pretty easy to assume that probably someone who got out of jail uh, was pretty annoyed with him and just would have rather he died. I. Um, tell me about the contract, Akiva. No Dark Brother or Sister has successfully infiltrated the Imperial Prison in over 300 years. This will be a true test of your abilities. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Go now, dear family. This will be difficult. May the Night Mother wrap you in her cold, loving embrace. Okay, we'll head back to base for now. And I guess we'll do that one in the next episode. I'll drop off all of Bainlin's uh, treasures. 
honor his memory. Oh, we have two potatoes. I missed those earlier. Oop, almost dropped that, didn't want to drop that. Okay, I'll end the episode there then. So we completed the uh, Accidents Happen quest where we went to Bruma, we infiltrated the house of a uh, of an elf called Banelin, uh, who was being guarded by a Nord bodyguard called Grom, and got into his um, crawl space and we dropped a minotaur head on his head and killed him and no one was any the wiser um and yeah we've got our next quest from the dark brother as well which should be an interesting one as we're going to be infiltrating the imperial city prison and killing our old friend valendreff who insulted us in episode one and we're finally going to get a chance to get our revenge through the dark brotherhood in this episode so that should be that should be fun. Uh, for now, guys, hope you've enjoyed the episode. Hope you have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye now.